Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another haul. This is a very large L3 Waxy Wonders um, ready to ship um, order. So let's get started. So this was um, an order that was placed on April 30th. Um, and it's a total of five separate orders because I went in five separate times to order stuff. So um, like I said, we have a lot here. So this might be a long video. So bear with me um, as I go through all of this. First things first, we have our sticker here, and it says you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. And this is from Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> um, we also have the caramel from Sugarwood uh, sample. Then we have three samples. So this one is Flying Monkeys. And this one is banana, bubblegum, and ice cream. Um, you, as you guys know, I do not like banana scents. Um, I have found one banana scent that um, that I have liked from a different vendor. Surprisingly, that one did not smell like the um, banana Laffy Taffy to me. So um, let's see what this one smells like. <clears throat> but if I'm not mistaken, I think... Let's see. So this one, the bubble gum is standing out more. I get that creaminess from the ice cream. I'm not really getting banana. So I may be able to melt this one. We'll see. And this is in the shape of... of um, pie slice so we'll see this one isn't too bad <clears throat> then we have vanilla sugar straw, uh, shortbread lemon curd raspberry whip And this one smells really good. I get that shortbread. I definitely get the lemon curd. And a slight hint of the raspberry whip in the um, background. This one's nice. We'll see how it is on warm. And then we have fizzy soda. Oh, sorry guys. Just hit you there. Oh, and this is very fizzy. This is nice on its own or as a blender. And that's what that looks like. So we are going to start off. <laughs> let's see. I have so much here. So let's um, start off, I guess, with the puppy packs. So this is strawberry sweet cream whipped cream. And this one is pretty much self-explanatory. Self-extraordinary. <laughs> um. You get that strawberry. It's very sweet and creamy. So this one looks like that. This smells really good. To me, this one it would be great on its own or um, as a blender with maybe like um, zucchini bread or something else. <clears throat> and then we have Salty Sea Air Cotton Candy Pink Sugar. I do have a lot of blends here that do have Salty Sea Air. Um, Jennifer had did a post where she had said she had made the mistake of ordering extra Salty Sea Air and didn't realize it. So she had placed an order for 100 pounds of it um, one day and then 
forgot that she ordered it. And then by the end of the week, she ordered another 100 pounds of Salty Sea Air. So she had asked us in the group to give her some Salty Sea Air blend so she could try to use, you know, get some uses out of the extra Salty Sea Air that she had ordered. So um, I do have a lot of Salty Sea Air blends here. So this one is Salty Sea Air, Cotton Candy, and Pink Sugar. And I definitely get the Salty Sea Air. That cotton candy is just adding some sweetness. And then also the pink sugar is giving it some extra sweetness. This is very pretty. Very soft, um, pretty blend. But I like it. So that's that one. <clears throat> and this one is watermelon lemonade. Oh, this is delicious. You definitely get that watermelon. You get that tartness of the lemonade, the sweetness from the watermelon. Ooh, it's like a watermelon lemonade drink. I like this one. And it is a tiny little car. <laughs> then we have black sugar, Baja cactus blossom and boom boom. And <clears throat> um, her description of black sugar is luscious vanilla, tart raspberry intertwined with a melodic com combination of argan wood and myrrh. Um, sandalwood highlights its sweetness. So um, argan wood is very resinous. So um, to me, when I smell black sugar, um, it, it gives off a very strong resinous note. Then the um, Baja Cactus Blossom is just the cactus flower, and it's a blend of fresh white flowers green um, and green cactus stems, sun-kissed uh, coconut. And then, of course, Boom Boom is salted caramel, pistachio, and warm sunshine. And I definitely get that resinous note from the black sugar. And then with the... Um, the boom boom, you definitely get that, um, um, what you call it, body care feel from it, which smells really good. Not really getting too much <clears throat> of the Baja Cactus Blossom. I guess I'm getting maybe like a slight green note from the stems. But I would say for this blend, the black sugar and the boom boom is what's standing out the most. Then we have suntan lotion and swimming pool. So I took a chance on this one because I was, you know, very curious to see what this would smell like. And for me, I just get all suntan lotion. Very tropical, that tropical um, um, smell that you get from suntan lotion. So I'm not really getting um, or picking up any swimming pool. But we'll see how it is on warm. I mean, it smells good, but 
I was just hoping to smell more of the swimming pool to see if I could um, uh, pick that out. But right now, it's just all suntan lotion. So we'll see how that one is on um, warm. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then we have another Salty Sea Air Spring Breeze Watermelon Blend. And um, Salty Sea Air. So Jen doesn't have this uh, scent description on her, her list of scent notes. So um, I just looked it up. And um, to me, Salty Sea Air is basically like a beachy, salty, airy um, note. But a more descriptive explanation of it is crisp ozone, salty sea spray, seaweed, sun weather, driftwood with a hint of water lily. So um, that's like, you know, the technical description of it. Spring breeze is um, described as out for a walk on a sunny spring evening and the wind blows. And it's a combination of flower and trees and fresh clean air. And then the watermelon is a candied sweet watermelon. It's not a realistic watermelon. And you definitely pick up the watermelon, that candied watermelon. Salty sea air. And you do pick up, or I do pick up the spring breeze, which is very beautiful. It's like, um, you get like a, a um, a floor, like, um, a florally green note so like maybe the trees that have like the blossoms on it and then when the wind blows you get that that note and it is like fresh and airy so this one smells really good I like this and that's what that shape looks like or one of the shades. <clears throat> so we have, <clears throat> excuse me, strawberry pound cake, vanilla ice cream, and salty sea air. And you definitely pick up that strawberry pound cake. The creaminess from the ice cream, and you definitely pick up that uh, salty sea air. Very beachy, um, crisp, fresh, airy, salty. Mmm, this smells so good. And you get that denseness from the pound cake. Wow, this is nice. And that's one of the scent or shapes. And then I got um, Water Horse of Loch Ness, and this is Evenings, Seattle Rain, and Salty Sea Air. <clears throat> and I am not sure if her Evenings is the same as Evenings in the Hamptons. I did ask the question in the group. So far, um, I haven't got a, a, um, a response yet on whether or not if it is or not. So I could not... Um, I'm not sure of what evenings is. Oh, wow. This smells so good. It's fresh. You get that saltiness. Um, you get that watery note. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. And that, look how cute this little turtle is. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. I did get two of these, and I'm so happy that I did. Um, I see a loaf of this in my future, though. 
So that's that. And then, <clears throat> so this one um, was my custom or my um, uh, blend. I'm sorry, guys. It's still early in the morning, so I'm trying to get it together. Um, this is my blend that um, I provided. So when Jen had, you know, did that post about how much, you know, how she ordered extra salty sea air, and she was like, "Give me, you know, blends." Um, this was one that I gave her. So fresh cut grass, island fresh gain, and salty sea air, and she was gracious enough to pour it for me. So I did get two of these. Oh, you definitely pick up that fresh cut grass. <coughs> and you get that um, gain, um, island fresh gain. And that salty sea air. So this is like laundry green beachy. Oh, I like this one. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy with how this came out. When she does um, the next, if she does customs again, I know she's been talking about pre-order, but if she does do um, where she, you know, ask for, you know, custom blends, I am going to definitely get this in the custom. So I did get two of those. And... The next one that I got is Hunter X Hunter. Um, and this is light blue type in bamboo. So light blue is um, Dolce & Gabbana and it's juicy Granny Smith apple, Sicilian citron, jasmine right, white rose, Asian bamboo, cedar wood, and amber. And then the bamboo is just fresh clean green um, bamboo. So let's see. And you definitely get the green note. I'm picking up that jasmine. And the rose. So this is a little bit more heavier on the floral. I like it though. So you definitely get the um that bamboo, like that bamboo note, like that greenery from that is really beautiful. I'm not picking up any apple. <clears throat> and I get like a slight amber and a little bit of the cedarwood in the background. But this smells really nice. And this is what the shape looks like. is a seashell. So that's that. And <clears throat> we have sugared apples, radiant red maple peach. Wow, this is very sweet from the sugared apples. And you definitely get that peach note. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And this is a good peach. This is a very delicious um, apple peach blend. Mmm. And that's what that looks like. Then we have coconut milk, cotton candy, lavender cream.
And this one smells really good too. It's a very um, soft lavender blend. But I do pick up that this is herbal lavender. But that coconut milk and that cotton candy really softens it. So you get the herbaliness of it, but it's not too strong um, or overpowering. This is just very soft, pretty. Mmm, creamy. That's <clears throat> a music note. So that one is very beautiful. Then I got, um, so this is another one of my blends that I suggested in, um, in that post. And Jennifer was uh, gracious enough to pour it for me. So this one is um, Blackberry Lemon Curd and Salty Sea Air. Oh, this is so good. Oh, wow. <clears throat> You get that lemon curd first, but then you get the salty sea air. And you get that blackberry in the bla uh, background. Oh, wow. This came out. I'm so happy with how this came out. This is delicious. Mmm. And that's a leaf. So I did pick up two of these. So, um, and Jennifer is really good uh, with pouring your request when you do, uh, re when she asks, you know, give me your, you know, what do you want to see for the next restock? What do you want to see for the next pop-up? You know, um, so I always recommend, like, if you miss out on something, you know, when she put those posts out there, definitely put your recommendations in there because nine times out of 10, she will pour, she will do her best to pour, you know, um, your recommendations or your requests. So she's really good at, at doing that. And if you don't see it on one restock, nine times out of 10, you'll see it on the next one if you request it again. So she's really good with doing that. So definitely keep that in mind. So <clears throat> that was all of the puppy <laughs> puppy bags yes this like I said this is a big um order when I got this box I thought this was my pre-order um this came in a UPS box and it was you know pretty big and I was like oh that's my pre-order well the other day because I'm behind with opening up packages you guys um I've been you know letting you guys know that I'm trying to catch up so the other day I got another box that was bigger and I was like what is this well that even bigger box is the actual pre-order so <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of wax that has been being delivered in these past few weeks. It's like never ending. Um, <clears throat> but we're all too familiar with that. So, um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, what time is it? Let's see. So we're at 23 minutes and I am going, so I'm going to do the Bitty Betty Loaves and then, um, or no, I'm going to do the scoops. Let's do the scoops. So this one is Strax Acid Bath. Um, and I got this on a recommendation of Casey um, Houghton, who's in the group. <clears throat> so she said to me, because I had ordered one of my orders, I believe I had ordered, um, no, it was this order. I ordered Boogie Be Gone. So she said, well, if you like Boogie Be Gone, you're going to love Strax Acid Bath. So I said, okay. So I went back on the website and I saw that it was available and I ordered it. So Boogie Be Gone is basically Vicks Vapor Rub. So it's good for, you know, if your sinuses or your allergies are, you know, are bothering you or congesting and you want to put that on at night to kind of help open you up while you sleep. That's, you know, that was the reason why I got the Boogie Be Gone to begin with. Um, so this one has Boogie Be Gone, Peppermint, and Rosemary Mints. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys, but my allergies for some reason are a little bit agitated today. Oh, this is nice. You definitely. Mm, 
you like when I inhale this, I can feel like that coolness going into my chest. Oh, this is really nice. You get the boogie be gone. You get the peppermint. And then you get that rosemary mint. Oh, this is nice. <clears throat> And I'm just warming it up with my fingers, guys, just so I can get like a true scent um, from this. Wow. I cannot wait. to. And this is what it looks like. This one is good. Thank you, Casey. Um, <clears throat> the next one is... Uh, what is this? Saltwater Mermaid Pink Sands. And this one is, um, so Saltwater Mermaid is Ocean Mist, Seagrass with Agave, Nectar, and Coconut Milk. And then the Pink Sands is Citrus, Sweet Florals, and uh, Vanilla and Coconut. So that is what, that looks like a pretty light blue color. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. You definitely <clears throat> get those florals. Mm. It says um, a little bit aquatic. Very fresh. Oh, this smells so good. And you get a, um, a, a creaminess from this, too. From the um, coconut, <clears throat> from the coconut milk. This is really nice. <clears throat> and this citrus note um, is not too, like, strong. It's very light, but it blends perfectly with this. This is another um, beautiful one. Then I got bergamot waters and sea kelp. <clears throat> and I could not find the scent um, descriptions on Jennifer's website for these. So I just looked it up on Google. And bergamot waters is creamy sandalwood and a hint of sugar citrus. And then the sea kelp is fresh, clean, full of salty, ozone, watery greens, uh, white musk, and vetiver. And this is what this one looks like. And this is very nice. It's very like watery, like um, <clears throat> you get that watery note. You get the greens. Or the, the green note. <laughs> wow. I'm very surprised and impressed with this one because I wasn't sure how I was going to like this one. But it's very fresh, um, clean. Uh, you get that um, <clears throat> watery note from it. You definitely pick up those greens. Like I pick, pick up those greens immediately. Slight musk. But it's just a, a nice, fresh, clean, um, <clears throat> not laundry, but just like fresh being out by the water and just getting like that fresh air. And then you have, <clears throat> you know, maybe like, you know, some greenery nearby that's, you know, blowing in the wind as well. This one is really good too. <clears throat> I definitely like that. And then I picked a Raspberry Whip White Elephant Exchange. And White Elephant Exchange is powdered donuts. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. My voice is not cooperating today. 
um, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. Uh, with <clears throat> White Elephant Exchange, I pick up that um, the powder like from the the donuts, um, which is really good. Um, so I pick that up the most when I smell White Elephant Exchange, but it's a very um, delicious bakery blend. <clears throat> And then the Raspberry Whip is a sweet and tart fresh raspberries uh, with fluffy um, whipped sweet cream. So it doesn't have a floral note. Some raspberry um, can have a floral note, um, but this one doesn't. So it's just, you know, like just the fruit. Ooh, that smells so good. So yummy. I'm definitely picking up that White Elephant Exchange. And I get the, the raspberries in the background or the raspberry whip in the background. It's very creamy, sweet, a little bit tart. Oh, wow. This is delicious. I'm so glad I picked this one up. And if you guys are not familiar, White Elephant Exchange, um, any of the White Elephant Exchange uh, blends fly out the door <laughs> on restocks and pop-ups. Um, it's a very popular, um, on its own is very popular, but w mixed with different things, it's even more popular. So this one is Spew Fresh Cut Glass. <laughs> not glass to Sean, grass. <laughs> oh wow so fresh cut grass so spew is clean linens fresh air and driftwood and then of course fresh cut grass is self-explanatory um so let's see and this is what this one looks like it's a pretty white wax mmm wow So this is laundry and grass. This is beautiful though. So that, just imagine you wash your, your clothes and you hang them up outside in the backyard and you know, you got your grass <clears throat> that you just, you know, freshly cut, you know, your husband or significant other mowed the lawn or whatnot. And you get that freshness of the grass like that was just cut, but then you have your clothes drying out you know, outside, um, you know, naturally by the, the, um, air and the sun. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. I am really, um, shocked by the fact that I enjoy grass scents because I am allergic to grass and fresh cut grass, like in the real world is a no go for me. Um, as I said before, I usually, I literally get like agitated when I, hear them cutting grass because I'm like are you kidding me because that fresh cut grass immediately my eyes start to water I start to sneeze my throat gets itchy it's not fun at all you know so for me to be able to enjoy these um this fr fresh cut grass um notes and blends I'm very impressed I'm very surprised I'm very shocked but I am enjoying it because I can't really enjoy the real grass in the real world due to allergies and this is beautiful, 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 beautiful. That I would get in the loaf. So, um, <clears throat> so guys, what I'm going to do, I am going to end the video here because we are already at 34 minutes. Um, and I'm going to do a part two to this video. Um, so I will see you guys in a bit but please be sure to like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of the next videos that i upload and um i will see you in the next one in part two i'll be right back take care bye